you do was good joe welcome back to the club welcome back to the channel it's your host it's professor underscore e back here with another video listen in today's video i'm going to show you how to transfer files between your pc and your android device wirelessly by using a nearby share so without further ado let's get into the video so boom all right so i'm using a samsung phone right here but it's virtually the same thing for any Android phone. You know, I got the Pixel. It's basically the same thing, right? You want to go over to Nearby Share, right? As you can see, Nearby Share is right there. So it's basically the same thing. So what you want to do is, let me just show you on the Samsung phone first, and I'll show you on the Pixel. So what you want to do is, you want to head over to the Nearby Share option right there. You're going to click on it. And make sure that you toggle on that button so that the device is visible to your PC, obviously, right? Your computer, your laptop, right? And make sure that you click on contacts and not everyone because you don't want everybody seeing your private information, right? If they have their nearby share, right? You want to share it to your specific contacts, right? You're going to click on contacts and done, okay? Also, another thing is this is not going to work if, let's say, on your computer you're signed into a different Gmail account and and on here you're signed in with a, another Gmail account. It's not going to work. You're gonna, you need, you absolutely need to be signed into the same Gmail account on the laptop and on here too. Otherwise, it won't work. So that's, that's on the Samsung. Then if you pull out the Google Pixel... You're going to go head over to nearby share, right? And again, same thing, right? Make sure it's toggled on. Otherwise, the laptop is not going to find you. And as you can see, I'm signed into the same Gmail account. This is not going to work if you're signed into di two different Gmail accounts. It just won't work. I already tested. So, all right, so boom. We're on my laptop right here. And uh, you want to head over to the Android, android.com forward slash better together forward slash nearby share app okay link in the description um i'm going to provide it in the description so you want to head over to this website right here so this website is going to allow you to download the nearby share beta application for windows all right so, so obviously what you want to do is you want to click on here and you want to get started with the beta so this application is only compatible for Windows computers running 64-bit version of Windows 10 and and up. So if you have Windows 10, 64-bit, perfect. If you have Windows 11, 64-bit, perfect. Anything else uh, lower than that, this is not going to work. So you're going to click on Get Started with the Beta, right? And then you're going to let it do its thing. As you can see on the bottom left, it's installing. So now you're going to open up the wizard. And then it's going to open. It's going to ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You click on yes. And boom. Now it's installing. Now you just wait for it to install. So it's installing and it's installing and it's going to keep on installing. All right. I'll get right back into it when it's done installing. All right. So boom. It's done installing. Right. So what you want to do is. You want to head over to your Windows I your start icon right here, your start menu, and then you're gonna search for nearby share beta from Google. You're gonna click on open, and now it's gonna open. All right, cool. Now you're presented with the nearby share beta application. This is the front end. You can uh, go on to settings, right? You can click on settings, change the device name change where you want the file to be downloaded all the good stuff right and uh i believe when you first uh install the application is going to ask you to sign in with your google account again make sure that you're signed in with the same gmail account i can't stress this enough if you're not signed in with the right gmail account this is not going to work it has to be the same gmail account on this pc as well as on your phone otherwise this is not gonna work okay so once you do that and you're signed into the same Gmail account it might prompt you to do that I believe so but once you do that 
Okay. Once you do that, you present them with this page right here. So you want to head over to the Samsung phone, right? Once you're headed to the Samsung phone, uh, in order to send a picture, right? You can go on to, you know, either your files or whatever. So I'm just going to go on to files. Then we're going to click on browse. And let's say I want to send that exact same image to the laptop now. So what you're going to do is you're going to click up share and then you're going to click on nearby share and now it's going to pick up uh, any device that's at the, on the nearby share right now it's picking up my google pixel so we're just going to click on settings just make sure everything's good over here uh, let me just go back on my laptop just to make sure everything's correct over here I'm just gonna click okay that's why it's not receiving so you want to click on receive from contacts you're gonna click on that and then it should pop up here okay boom as you can see text PC pulled up so you're gonna click on that and as you can see on my laptop if we go back on the laptop it's been transferred he it received the image so you're gonna click on open and then as you can see the image has been received same the same thing with the pixel all right don't take the pixel all right you're gonna head over to whatever file or photo you want to share right so I'm just gonna click off I'm just gonna head over to files again let's change the image let's go back Let's say I want to share this image right here. Click on the, the share icon. And then nearby share. And then now it's going to pull up. It's going to pull up the computer again. I'm going to click on it. Now it's pulling it up. And now as you can see it says that text PC your laptop has received the image go back on the computer we can see it's ready there and boom now it's on my computer so that's how you can send images files whatever the case may be on your Android device if you like the video like comment subscribe join the club join the crew you know what I'm saying we're growing up in here if you have any comments or concerns leave it down below I'll get right back to you Alright YouTube, we out. Peace.